Every time a new version of Windows comes out, it feels like it's another step away from the nerdy beauty that was the older Windows systems from around the XP or the Windows 2000 era until the Windows 7 era. So what we're gonna do in this video is look back install Windows 7, have a little bit of fun with it, explore the UI, and just talk about why it was so special and why it was so good. I asked everyone on Twitter what they missed the most about Windows 7, and I want to start right here from Mr. Cynical. It was the final OS whose interface was designed for PCs rather than PC tablet touchscreen laptops. That is the quintessence of exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. But first, let's make sure that you have your Windows 10 activated. Look at that ugly activate windows thing. Is this what your Windows 10 looks like? When you try to go and change your color scheme or your background, does it say, oh, sorry, you gotta activate. We need this dark theme. And you can go buy a retail CD key if you want to. It's gonna cost you over $100 typically, maybe a lot, maybe 150. Uh, and if you're buying office, it's gonna be a lot more than that. Or you can do like I do and grab an OEM CD key. It's the exact same product when you buy an OEM key. It's just, this is the price that the big corporations and stuff pay when they buy them and put them on laptops or whatever, when they buy them for their offices. So everyone should get the same price. And that's why I always buy OEM keys. And I do it on whokeys.com. We have Windows 11, and you can also get Office. Pick the version you want. I'm gonna get Windows 10 Pro. By using coupon code TS25, you can get 25% off these prices here. So go ahead and put TS25 in here as your coupon code, hit it apply, and then you can see we can get Windows 10 Pro for 14.85. Once you're finished, if you wanna access your key, you click on your name on the top right, click on User Center, and you'll see My Purchase Orders. Right here, you'll be able to view the keys that you've purchased just by clicking on View Keys and Codes. Then you will see your code right here. Just go ahead and copy this code, press Start, type Activate, and you'll see activation settings come up. Click on that, then click change product key. Right there, you can paste in your code and hit next, and then you will be activated. It's very simple. And while you're on WhoKeys, be sure to check out some of their new stuff like their wireless mice and mechanical keyboards. All right, now to the regularly scheduled video. But next Saturday, first thing in the morning, get up like it's Saturday morning cartoons, sit down with me and we'll update Windows 10 to make it as much like Windows 7 as possible. But right now, we are just gonna have some fun and just go through the you know the community comments and talk about why Windows 7 was so awesome. So let's get down to it. This is our modern Windows OS. Check this out. Look at this start menu. What is all this? Okay, so we've got all Adobe's come of pre-installed ticked. There's TikTok and Instagram and Facebook installed on the computer when okay. Wonderful. Disney Plus. Okay, great. Where's all the apps? Oh, there's a little button up here. All apps. What's this? I am like so ready to reach up to my screen and start swiping. What, what is this? There's like four things on the page at a time. It's so big and bulky. That's where we are now. Let's see what the settings menu looks like. Show more options. So uh, there's a new right click contextual menu. When you right click, it brings up this goofy thing. Let's see what happens if I click on a file. I'm curious just to like, if I want to like, okay, we got a few options here, but if you want the original menu, there we go. That's what we need. Now we can do stuff like, before, what, what is this? We got, we got our properties and a couple of options, plus this nonsense up here, like we can't do keyboard shortcuts. And you have to click, a, what in the hell just happened? That's silly. Let's see what Windows 10 was like. All right, what, what the hell? Why are there donuts? Oh, it's National Donut. Happy National Donut Day, everybody. Remember to have a donut today. One donut is equal to, the, to about eight slices of thin cut bacon, just so you know. What is all this? Okay, we have the store. Let's see what the start looks like. Start. It's better, but Disney Plus still on here. What is all this not? Spotify. All right, where's my programs? Okay, I guess they're here. Scroll through this, but it's a little bit. I guess it. I guess this was okay. Uh huh. All right. Windows Seven. Shall we? Ah, what's this? Nothing. Where's all the garbage? There's no garbage. So let's hit start and see what happens. Oh, what? look a start menu. How quaint. All right, what do we have? Do we have any bloat on here? We've got. Solitaire. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have Solitaire. Let's see what we got here. We got Solitaire. That's our bloat. All right, let's see where all of our programs are. All programs. Oh, look, there's nothing, not much installed right now. There it is. So let's go through some of the other uh, things that, that the community said. So a lot of people commented about the more consistent UI. Eric, I believe it's one of them who said, this is great. We have a more consistent UI. So let's just go around and look at the UI elements. So there we've got this. Hmm, interesting. We gotta change that right now. All right, we're gonna get some Aster Clement action going on here for that. I'm using Bing. Ooh, we got a, we got this on here. Save picture as, yeah, just whatever. The UI theme was very shiny and, and 
You notice on top of this, they've overlaid some glare, which some people love, some people hate. But it's a, it, there's a uniformity in this. We've got gradients, we've got, you can, there's edges. So when I open up multiple windows, as some of the commenters are saying, you can clearly see where one window ends and the other one begins. It's, it's obvious. If there's a little performance stuttering, it's because I'm running this on a VM, just so you know. Internet settings, open the networking connection. Okay, there we go. This, this is a desktop operating system. Look at this, it's, it's for, for the desktop. All right, let's check out our, um, our, our, our volume options. Look at that, it just went right here. You didn't have to go through any bubbly nonsense like on Windows 10. You know, that's like one of the worst features of Windows 10. Let's just show you. In Windows 10, you right click on this, open sound settings. What is this? Okay, great. This is, okay. Great. Device properties. What's that take me to? Here. Okay. Where the hell? How do I get to additional? There. Hey, look. Fine. No, this is not even what I'm looking for. Remote audio. Okay. I guess it's, yes. What a, what a pain in the ass. What a pain in the ass. Let's go to the, do the same with network. Open network and okay, this. Well, I don't need all this. I just want to go to the thing, the, the original thing. Where is it? Uh, update. No, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to go to, nope, get out of here. Oh, Jesus, what is what is this? I don't want to sync, just go away. Is there not a go away button? Oh my God, it won't even let me Alt F4. I don't want to be here. I want to go to change adapter, network sharing center. What's that going to take me to? Okay, there we go. Look, now we're in Windows 7. It only took me like 17 clicks to get to where Windows 7 took me in like you know, one click. Again, to verify, close that. Windows 7, I click on this, go to Network Sharing Center, and oh my God, there it is. There's the Network Sharing Center with cool little house icons. Instead of the Windows 10 where you have to, you click here and right click and you go to the thing and this comes up and you're like, okay, now I gotta go down here and go to the, this thing. No, no, nope, I did it again because it says adapter. I'm looking for adapter. Uh, this thing. This thing. No, no, this. There we go. This is the process that everyone takes to get to anything in Windows 10. You know what? I've never even tried this on 11. Okay, Windows 11. Let's give it a try. Over here, networking. It's floating over here? Okay, whatever. Oh, you know, that's actually not that ugly. You know, it's, it's organized and stuff. Advanced, I'm gonna think first. Let's try advanced, maybe? Advanced network properties. Uh, how do I get to the other thing? More network adapt, no, that's a, that's a trap. Network reset. Hardware connection properties? No. Network and internet. Ethernet? Uh, uh, how do I get to the old school settings? For network adapter options is gonna take me, oh, look, there's that. How about? Okay, we're here, network and internet, go back. Ooh, we're getting close. Uh, is there like a network and sharing center? I found it! <laughs> I can't believe it, I found it! Oh my God. So if I type network, let me see if I just hit start and type network connection, network and sharing center. Can I get there? Network and sharing center opens up in Bing. Okay, what the, there it is. If I type the whole thing out, it, uh, network discovery is turned off. It didn't take me where I wanted to go. This was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. I'm gonna go back to seven now and play, <laughs> play around in seven some more. So Eric also says there's um, no hidden nonsense to protect users from themselves. And that's what we have here, that the, those other layers that we see in the other operating systems are there to protect you from yourself, you idiot, obviously. Before I keep going on, can I, I forgot if there's a dark mode on this. It's been a long time, but let's, let's just go into personalize and see what we can do here. Uh, we can change the desktop background. I'm gonna do that because that's just the first thing I need to do. Let's get, um, how about Beyond Good and Evil? I'm using Bing. Don't don't judge me. I, I don't have time. This is like a clear all. Where's my picture? There it is. Oh, looks fine. And you look at this. I, I can come down here and click on properties. Use small icons. Apply. I did not need to activate Windows to do that. That was great. Also, this is the ultimate version. And then hold on the control button and scroll your mouse and I can resize the desktop icons and stuff like that. All right, what else is on the list here? The UI looks good. People like this. They don't like flat UIs. I see that a lot. From Flo Floofy Logic says he doesn't like the UI. Windows 10 is ugly. Brooke likes the arrow gr glass. So the arrow glass feature that we have here. You know, the glare, that's something that's very subjective. I actually don't like the glare that you get on like the stuff, you know, like for the, for the interface. All right, let's go over and talk about the Explorer. This is your Explorer. It opens up in libraries. I much prefer when it opens up in, in my computer, but you can come up and change the settings for it to do that. C drive. I didn't, only a 30 gig, whoops. 
I should probably make that bigger. So in newer versions, we have the ribbon. And now we have this, which if you go in here, it gives you contextualized stuff that you can access that's really handy. You know, if you want to just click on new folder and stuff like that, we can do that very easily. And I always thought the look of the computer looks pretty good. These icons are nice. Easily change the view type just by clicking over here. Like I want details. Let's go back to our tiles. And then in here, I want details. Yes, give me the details. I mean, the medium icons, that's hideous. It's just, this was quick and easy. I mean, you can always right click and change things. We can show our preview pane over there. So everyone keeps mentioning, like my uh, Miami Mercenary said it was easy easy to find things. It's really easy to find things. If I wanna go to my, my network here, you know, like network sharing center, that, that was so easy. Okay, let's go to sound properties. Sound properties. Change the sound card settings, change system sounds. There we go. So fast and quick and easy to get to things. Let's go to our um, device manager. So fast and so easy to get to stuff. Mobcat says he likes it, that it's focused on being a desktop. And this truly is the last operating system made by Microsoft that feels like it was made for a desktop user. So I believe the name is Andrew, says he likes the skeuomorphic design. So I think we have, there we go. We've got like the clock here. I'm not sure where else there's skeuomorphic design in this. We do, yeah, we do have like the icons that represent everything, the big calculator. So yeah, that's really intuitive and handy. So if you're into the skeuomorphic designs, then this is an operating system for you. You can try to change icons with the new operating systems, but it's annoying. See, look, look at that. Those, all those icons there. Those are examples of the design he's talking about. A lot of people mentioned Windows Media Center. So let's, I don't remember Windows Media Center very much. Let's open it up and see if this brings back some memories. Uh, I didn't really use Windows Media Center. I was just using FUBAR TV. All right, let's, I wanna set it up, see if it can import some of my media. I'm just gonna do the uh, anime movies, that's it. Okay, well, my dreams of trying out Windows Media Player have been crushed by the fact that it doesn't support MKV files. Ah, oh, it's so sad that I can't use it, but a lot of people mentioned Windows Media Player. So there it is. Remember it and have fun. All right, so LiveScript had said pinball. No pinball with Windows 7 Ultimate. Sorry. Must have been Windows Vista or XP, I forget. Okay, a lot of people mentioned the lack of telemetry. And I want to say something about telemetry because with a security update that was absolutely mandatory for Windows 7, 7 actually rolled all the telemetry into a security update. They said it was a mandatory security update, but when you installed it, magically now telemetry is active. So even if you're installing Windows 7, you still have to do things to combat Microsoft's telemetry nonsense. So there's no real way around that. So I think I've covered a lot of the stuff that everyone talked about. The Explorer command bar is a big thing for a lot of people that's better than the ribbon. And I think I've gone back and forth a, a bit, you know, enough maybe to explain why this was a special operating system. It's kind of sad to me that a lot of modern applications just don't support Windows 7 anymore. There's nothing we can do about it. It's just, it's not supported. And that, that's really sad to me because I, I loved this operating system. I don't think Pistol ever stopped using it until our computer basically crashed. Despite when we were working together, I'm being like, I, I know it sucks, but can you please update to Windows 10 because it, it would make things more compatible in the office. But she was like, no, seven forever. And I understand now I want to go back. I really want to go back to Windows 7. Now that we're, we're on this, oh God, g give me Windows 7 back, please. No, 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 oh, Windows 7 again. Uh, so I'm going to do something about this. I, I, I'm, I've decided something must be done to bring back some of the former glory and some of the ease of use of Windows 7. God, every time I click on it, it just hurts. I miss these things so much. On the next video coming next Saturday, I'm going to take my copy of Windows 10 and I'm going to improve it as much as I can and I'm gonna use Windows 7 as like the baseline. I want everything to be, well, as much like Windows 7 as possible. And we can do a few different things to get it there. So that's coming in the video next week. But for now, if you wanna stick around and goof off for just a little while longer, you can sit and watch me uh, play with Windows 7 for a little bit. I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit more like how I remember it back in the day, just for fun. Video's over, I'll see you later, but let's, let's head over to Ninite and get some stuff going. There we go. All right, I get Firefox. I don't, I'm not gonna be doing anything with this. This, I don't think I have room. I don't think I have very much room left on this. I always grab FUBAR 2000, but I'll do that later. Okay, light Envil, see? Notepad++, I've got 7-zip. 
don't need too many things. And then I usually get Foxit Reader, but I'm not going to be opening anything. But and then I usually get Microsoft Security Essentials. That's what I would get. I'm not going to be. I'm going to not going to be using this much. So my Nanite. Do you remember C Cleaner? I used to use this a lot back in the day in the Windows 7 days, but I don't use it anymore. But yeah, this I'm not going to install it. But just you remember this? <laughs> oh, it's in. Uh, that's in Japanese. Uh, Kosu re, ru ro Kosu ro. I don't know. Let me show you what I used to do when I had this theme. I used to set it up like this. There we go. There's my dark theme. This is how I usually ran it. Well, this is a bit more of an edge lord version. I couldn't find the exact theme I had, but yeah, this is over the top. But yeah, I always ran like a darker theme on here. Yeah, this is a little bit too Windows 10 too flat, but go back to it. There we go. Look, look how handy this is. Being able to just come down here and this customize button. Oh, yes. Look at that. This is so handy. I want to show notifications. This is awesome. Dark 3D objects. Oh, look at that. You can change the color of everything. You can't change this many colors in the new versions. They won't let you. If you want to, if you want to do this on Windows 10, I mean, let's see, can you? Let's see if I can do that on Windows 11. Hmm, how about it? No customize button. Right, let's go down to personalize. Can I, can I change my 3D objects? Where would that be? God, kill me. Kill me. This is... It. Kill me. Nope. Windows 11. I don't know. And maybe it's in here somewhere. I don't know where it would be. Windows 7. Look, 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 at, look at the atrocities we can commit. We can commit some atrocities. Oh, there we go. Yes. Comic Sans. Let's do this. Look at the atrocities you can commit. That's better. There we go. All right, so that's why Windows 7 is the last great operating system, the last desktop operating system that Microsoft ever made.